Hello friends, welcome to bimmodeler.com. This is Raj. So in this tutorial, you will be learning creating an architectural column family. It is a simple family for the beginner. So you will be learning how to create a, a revolve object. So using that revolve object, will be creating a constraint uh, geometry. The constraints will be uh, not as much as the other families. You have to create just a radius of the column and it will be constrained automatically. So you're not going to lock any of the geometry to the elements. So with that, let's start the tutorial. And if you're not subscribed or uh, if you're not followed our channel, so do subscribe because we are creating a series of tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. And if you have any questions, leave your comment below. New and it is an metric column family. You can take this template or you can take the generic model template once if you are taken you can close the background view and change the category as column family it is not a structural column it is a simple column so that it will be remains in architectural category not the structural one select ok once it is done create the reference plane to the right side of the element for the dimensional constraint for the radius Create the dimension and specify your radius of the geometry. And I'm specifying it as 300 and we can create the parameter name as column radius. Select OK. Now you can go to the front view and create your geometry shape in this place so as many of you know that this is going to be the center axis and the remaining one will be our parameter on the right side of the element so i have an architectural image column image i have to insert so it is under the insert and import category as image so this image will not be visible in the uh, project and it will not be uh, good for the performance we have to delete once it is done so you have to import it, import and place it wherever you need it. So it is as big as big one. So you can reduce it like this, small or big, whatever the size that you needed. You can align it, the place or locations that you needed. So make sure that these families are uh, column level to level generic models based family. And if you wanted to take the generic uh, level to level based family, you can take it. Or if you wanted to constrain the height of the family, you can do that also if you need it. So as of now, I'm taking the generic model family. If you need level to level column family, you have to take the template as similar to that. So this is for the learning of Revolve. So I'm not uh, going much deeper into that. So uh, the column basically it is level to level. You will have another level on top of it. So if you want it, you can take the metric column based family by default. It is another uh, learning point. So, okay, approximately I'm placing it uh, in this height and I'm going to create the uh, reference plane for the top of the column like this. And if you need, you can constrain it, but I don't want to constrain it and it remains in the same height. So let's create the uh, revolve solid object and create your geometry as you needed along the picture. So this will be a, uh, uh, I will, I'm going to increase the speed of the tutorial so that we will be able to draw it as much as possible. So you have to change your uh, uh, geometry in between the line and arc continuously multiple times so that it remains as per the geometry requirement. So this is going to be the full length arc. So I'm creating an end point here and the third point in this place. So 
that's it so make a trim and extend and create your geometry in the center axis the revolve object requires a closed profile and a center axis and that's it once if you're done make sure that you tap this and select it make sure it is continuously selecting and there is no filled dot so if it is there make a trim and extend or fill the gap and finish the geometry once it is done you can delete your image and verify your geometry flexibility by stretching your reference level reference plane so that whether it is reflecting or not you can you could understand it very clearly so if it is required you make sure that the geometry which is aligning with your radius of the reference plane so that it will be exactly the same radius that we specified so once it is done go to the 3d and check your model in shaded view or realistic view and assign the material on the left side panel property select it and assign the property as new material rename this as granite white and it is going to be the same render appearance and the render appearance will be the white light white with the reflectivity as light select ok now we have our column architectural column and once if you need to change the column radius as 250 you can change 250 and select ok so this is how you can change your parametric column and you can model your parametric column so if you have any comments or if you have any doubts on the same you can leave your comments below i hope you will be able to understand the revolve options in the revit clearly thank you so much for watching see you on the next tutorial bye